Hey there, this is Lana's Enchanted Sky, your spiritual fairy godmother, bringing you your reading for Capricorn, what you need to know for August 2024. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading, hypnosis, whatever I do. Yes, I am still giving them out. Also, please visit that for a reading or to check out my predictions. My predictions that have gone viral, I've been very busy with them. Uh, off of Metaphysical Meanderings, that's my podcast. You can find all this on all social medias. You can also find my podcast on any of the podcast uh, type releases, including uh, Spotify, iHeartRadio, um, 216 The Net um, is my podcast station. Um, you can find any of those anywhere and download them there. Uh, we are going to Sedona. We are still going. I have one space left and we it's very inexpensive to go. We're going to be there for about, I'm going to be there five days. Most people will be there three. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. So I've got several people from around the country meeting me. Um, I'm thinking of making this a yearly event and maybe we go to different places around the country and then other people can people can come different from different places. I think it's a lot of fun. So check me out. Uh, reach out to me if you are still interested. I only have that one spot left. But um yeah, it's going to be fun. Political jokes. So I'm, because of the, the state of our country right now, I am doing political jokes. So um, everybody knows that pro is, it, it, pro is the opposite of con, right? So the, so, so the opposite of progress should be Congress, correct? Also, how many congressmen does it take to, to screw in a light bulb? Two, one to change it and two to change it back. All right, so let's go. It's very interesting that I'm getting very emotional stuff. Now, this is Mercury in retrograde that's starting. I believe in August 4th. Don't hold me to that, but I believe it is. Um, it's starting right in the, into August. And you, Capricorn, fellow Capricorns, I'm arising. Um, you know, it's all about you. It's coming from your past. It's a traditional thing. There's been disharmony, confusion, and you're wanting success and you will find it. And I want to say Capricorns a lot of times are working on their balance of home and family. That is something that a Capricorn, you know, they've got their career, they got their home life, and they're trying really hard to get it to work. Now, something from your past is coming to light. And it could be a past skill, it could be a past person, and it has to do with hard work which Capricorns are very hard workers. So it has to be something traditional. This could be a job for you. This could be, it could be, a, this could also represent a marriage and collaboration. I just know that there's hard work that you're willing to put in. Now something is hidden about it and there's a waiting period, okay? And you, you don't have any ideas like you you're here you're waiting it out so to this month it's more of a, a little bit of a waiting game while you're you're waiting and you're resting up but things will be okay um it's more of a this is more of a home and family life again here we go home and family balance and could what would this be it, well it's going to be successful and there's going to be verbal communication or excuse me, written communication. So there's written communication. So you're going to be getting something this month that might throw you off a little. It could be an old email from an old boyfriend. <laughs> it's something from your past that must be dealt with. This could be an um, something to do with a job or an old skill that you have to rely upon. Okay. So just remember that. And you're working hard and you know you're standing your ground. You're working hard but there's a little bit of a disappointment and it's crossing you for the good or for the bad. So we, disappointment's kind of a negative thing. You're gonna make it through this. You will make it through all of this. Whatever is going on, and there's Mercury and retrograde, all kinds of uh, stuff happens, you know that. And it's gonna happen very fast. So I don't see a tower card. I don't see this as earth shattering. This is more of a, almost an internal struggle with for you. So I see success here. I see success here in the long run. These are good cards to get. So this is you making plans and sticking with it. It's just kind of this month, it's more, what do I do now? What do I, you know, 
a situation could evolve this month that has this very traditional. So it's your job. It could be your marriage. It's, it could even be the church, but it's traditional. There's collaboration going on. And you're relying on, on past information. And this could be, like for some people, because I'm seeing this, this could be a traditional vacation also, because this can represent a vacation, but it's also going forward. And this is pretty positive energy. And it's kind of like there's been disharmony and maybe you just need a break. Maybe you just need a break right now. And you've been disappointed. Some people, there's gonna be there's gonna be there's gonna be disharmony in a marriage. Okay, and I know that. But for some of the people, there's still some healing that needs. They're urging you this month more than anything in this month of August to just relax. All right, take a time out. Go where if you need to go somewhere, do it. You'll be happy you did. Okay? It doesn't say a whole lot, does it? It's more because this is more of a downtime for you. So for I've got a feeling that some people may be going on vacations or just taking a break from their life. And I'm going to tell you, um, all the worrying that everybody's been doing about in the country, that is none of it's going it's, it's to be very, very positive for everybody. Please remember that, okay? I want you to. Let me show you the cards. So as you can see, it's really positive. I pulled I pulled these cards out out of the middle, but they have to do with um, all of the um, being the disappointment and the hard work. So that can be crossing the the disappointment. You're picking up your pieces, and it's okay this whole month as you heal. It's all about healing this month. It's all about downtime, relaxation time, enjoying yourself time. Okay, mostly that's what this is about. Okay. So I'm just letting you know that take a little time for yourself. Decide what you're going to do and go forward. Because it seems to me that you have ideas, but you're not going forward or they're not manifesting yet. So take the time. Relax. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to read this last, do these last couple cards here. These are the angel oracles. And it's something for you to think about, okay? The angel of wisdom, you're becoming wise from all of this. Uh huh. Take care of your health. Don't forget to do that. It's important. Okay. This is a past issue. This has come up before in some way, shape, or form. And it's being, until we have mastered it, it will keep coming up because it's a lesson that must be learned. All right. Remembrance. Remember. Remember the important people in your lives. Remember and be grateful for everything you do have. It, it's a very positive emotion. Blessings to you. Make it a great day. And how can you make the planet a better place?